Are you unsatisfied with your public IP address at home? Do you have an existential crisis because the biggest corporations own the coolest subnets? Beware, you might not even realize that your IP address and your subnet actually slaps! This is the video that'll turn your life around and give your horrible public IP the second chance it deserves. Hell yeah! Oh yeah! Let me tell you, the IP address you saw in the thumbnail is 1 billion and 1. The IP address above it is 10 billion and 1 and the IP below it is 100 million and 1. What exactly do I mean by this? The IP address is actually an integer and to be more precise, it's a 32-bit integer. Which means there are only approximately 4 billion IP addresses in total. This is why we have network address translation and local subnets because there are clearly more than 4 billion devices on planet Earth and we need to identify them online somehow. This is also why you can theoretically express the IP address as a number and moreover, you can also write all of them down sequentially and you can count to 4 billion and something and essentially list every single IP address out there. The dots are there for convenience sake only. They separate so-called octets or bytes basically dividing a 32-bit number into four equal 8-bit parts. The largest 8-bit number is 2 to the power of 8, or 256. That's how many 8-bit numbers there are. If we include 0, the maximum number will become 255. This is why the IP address octets cannot be larger than 255. In reality, it's always translated to an integer, which means we can always access the IP addresses by supplying their integer values. This works in browsers, in consoles, and everything else. That means the Cloudflare Quad1 IP sucks, because in reality it's 16,843,009. This sucks! It does look better in hexadecimal, because every two hexadecimal characters represent a byte, and the octets are bytes. Who counts in hexadecimal though? Humans use the decimal system, so the most beautiful IP address by definition are 1 followed by many zeros in decimal. Unfortunately, that will always result in a subnet, because the last 8 bits will always be 0 in that case. So we'll take the first IP from that subnet and consider it beautiful. There is a little contradiction in everything I said though, I wonder if you've noticed it. If there are only 4 billion IPv4 addresses, then how is one of them 10 billion and 1? If you've noticed that, congrats, you're a legend. Now the reasoning is simple. I'm a Windows guy. I'm a content about Windows. And Windows is a great operating system without any bugs whatsoever. <clears throat> what took place for that IP address to become 10 billion here is... Is... An integer overflow. That's right! I accidentally discovered that when working on a premise for this video, so I had to whip out a disassembler to see what's going on there. A quick analysis uncovered ping.exe calling the RTL IPv4 string to address W function. W means white character. Yes, Windows loves UTF-16. So then I reverse engineered it and found where exactly the integer overflow occurs. I don't think it's significant, you can't exploit that. More interestingly though, I discovered that every octet is processed separately, enabling one of the most unholy addresses I've ever seen to get pinged. And you don't even need 4 octets to complete the IP address, unless the strict argument is set to true, which it isn't, ever. Which makes it even more disgusting. Besides, it's not just hexadecimal and decimal. The erratics can be 8 too, and it's all C-like. Basically, if you want to use the octal system, just prepend a zero before the number. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Uh, I, I don't know, I just spent time reversing ping from Windows. Anyways, theoretically with an integer overflow, every subnet IP is beautiful, but I still have no clue when it works and when it doesn't. And to be fair, I don't really care to dig deeper. There are only two truly beautiful IPs, 100 million and 1 billion. 10 billion will only work with an integer overflow and 10 million isn't enough to fill in the first high order octet. Honorable mentions? Every digit from 1 to 9, that is a valid IP address, but I can't ping it. Probably has ICMP turned off. 
Another one which I can ping is every digit from 0 to 9. If you own that IP address or a subnet, well, congrats I guess. Time to sell it for 20 billion dollars. Forget remembering the octets, there might be an even better representation of your IP address. Who needs DNS when we can just raw dog decimal IPs? I think that's awesome. That's what we should celebrate instead of corpo quad octets. And with that, thanks for watching. Take care.